Welcome back to the Prime Focus Goalkeeping YouTube channel and another episode of our Goalkeeper Technique Analysis series. Today, we're going to break down the basics of diving. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about diving technique. All right, so we've seen a lot of questions on it on different social media platforms. How do I work on my diving technique? So let's hammer it in today. Let's talk about it. All right, so the way I like to work on diving technique with my goalkeepers, I like to start them on the ground, All right? Because the biggest thing for diving technique for me is your hands, your shoulders, and your chest, All right? Where do those go every single time a ball's coming in? So starting now on this side, everyone's done it. Simple rockers up and down to the side, All right? But a lot of people sim do it and simply just get in a rhythm instead of actually working on the technique of it, All right? So we're just gonna do a few here, All right? Ball comes in to their hands and every single time just catching the ball, All right? So freeze. Hold it there, let's hold it there, all right? So the big thing I want you to notice is hands, right, in front of this white line. And I do this on the white line for a reason, because right? I want my goalkeepers to understand. Hands are, uh, are in front of the white line, on the ball, one on top, one behind, right? Ball's hammered into the ground there, right? That's our third hand. That's important. But what I want us to focus on is, right, where does his shoulders go? Where did his chest go every, sing every single time the ball comes in? All right, so the big thing I want you to think about is how do we get these shoulders forward? How do we get this chest forward more so towards the ball as opposed to my shoulders and my chest going down to the side and my hands coming out towards the ball? This is big as we work our way up and thinking about when we get in goal and when we start, want to start being aggressive towards the ball as opposed to going down to our side, right? Because a lot of times when we fall down to our side, the momentum of the ball takes us backwards and everyone knows that behind us is typically the goal. All right, so how do we focus on being more aggressive towards the ball so when that ball and that takes us backwards, the pace of that ball takes us backwards, it's not so much back here, but it's more so whether it's lateral or a little bit in front, now we're tipping around the post as opposed to tipping back into our goal. So thinking about, let's dive without the ball, thinking about how do I get more so here? How do I get these shoulders, this chest out towards the ball a little more with my hands? So my hands are going to lead. How do my shoulders and my chest come towards the ball as opposed to going here, all right? So let's work on that here. Ball's gonna come in. Can we take our chest and our shoulders forward a little bit more towards the ball, all right? Can you rock your legs a little bit more behind you, a little bit more behind you, your legs? There we go. So now, can I bring them forward? Can I get them forward? Forward a little bit more. Push those, that chest and those shoulders forward. Do a couple more. There we go. Start to focus on getting them forward. One more, one more. And good. All right, so that's important because we want to build habits. We want to build muscle memory. That's what goalkeeping is. It's muscle memory, right? So if my chest, my shoulders, and my hands are coming out towards the ball, when the pace is slow, as we start to pick up the pace, I'm going to have that muscle memory to do the same, and my fast twitch muscles are going to start to build to where I'm doing that more consistently. So from there, now that we've got our hands going out towards the ball. We've got our chest and our shoulders going out towards the ball. Now we're going to add in our legs, right? So we're not going to do it from a standing position because we want to get that little step first, that little muscle memory first of that step with our knee. And then we're going to build into standing up. All right. So from here, we're going to play a ball down to the side. I'm going to step with this knee, not step up to your feet, but step with this knee, right? And the direction of this step is going to be crucial, right? Are we going to take just a lateral step or are we going to take this diagonal step out towards the ball, right? What I like to tell my goalkeepers, I want you to imagine there's a line between this ball right here and the end line, right? So I'm hitting it and this ball is going to end up, if there's no intervention, this ball is going to end up right here. Are you going to get the ball back here, dive a little bit more laterally and get the ball back here? Or are you going to be a bit more aggressive and meet the ball on the line up here, right? So in order to do that, where does your step have to go, right? My step has to be more aggressive laterally as opposed to go back in and as opposed to that step coming here, all right? And we're just falling down to the ground. So being a bit more aggressive diagonally towards the ball as opposed to just falling down to the side. All right, so we'll start out slow here. I want to hit the ball down to the left side. We're going to step out towards the ball. Right, so can we make it a little bit more natural now all together? Boom. So let's pick up the pace now. Let's do it all in one. Here we go. Up, boom. Reset. Ball's in, step, 
and we go. Good. Now, one thing I want you to notice, ball comes in. Boom. Look at the angle that he's attacking the ball on. Step with the knee, hands out towards the ball. Good. Now reset. Stay right there. Now look at where, look at where he is versus where he started. All right, we started back on this white line. But as we've started to go, he's been more aggressive with the step out towards the ball, and he's resetting a little bit more in front of that line because his momentum is taking him forward. We're not asking him to dive straight forward on a stomach, right? But what we want him to do is be more aggressive diagonally instead of laterally because as we talked about, the pace of the ball picks up and it's going to take us backwards naturally. All right, so now let's start to pick up the pace a little bit. We're going to go both sides. We're going to go left side. We're going to go right side because obviously we want to be able to do it on the left. We want to be able to do it on the right. So first one on the left, step, boom, back in, reset. Ball's going to come into the right. Good. Focus on step and go. Just like that. Right side. Lovely. Good. Big thing I want us to notice. All right. His hands are leading, his step is going, his hands are leading, his chest and his shoulders are coming out towards the ball, right? So there's times where you'll step and then sometimes you'll simply just fall to the side because of the pace of the ball is not very fast, right? When it's easier, when the ball's slower, that's where we can really build our technique, really force yourself to go get the ball every single time because it's easy, it's simple. We get in the technique and once we've gotten the technique, we can start to do it over and over as the pace starts to pick up. And we'll talk about set position in a different video, but one, one thing I want us to focus on, I'm about nine yards away, right? There's a difference in getting set nine yards away versus getting set 18 yards away, right? So we've got less reaction time, right? So getting a little bit lower here as opposed to being set up top, right? So I'm a little bit lower here, right? Thinking about we started on the ground, we went to our knees, now we're standing up, right? We're from a higher position. How do we get down lower quicker? All right, so being a little bit lower and then we're stepping and we're driving down towards the ball. A lot of times, a lot of mistakes we see with youth goalkeepers, even professional goalkeepers, right? We get set here and then we step and we spring up to then come down towards the ball. And that ends up less time down to the ball, ball can sneak under us, All right? So thinking about how do I step, shoot my hands out towards the ball, keep my shoulders and my chest out forward and I'm getting to out towards the ball as opposed to step and push up or I step and I go back this way, all right? We're set, left side, step, hands out towards the ball. Great technique, let's go left side again, all right? Stretch you a little bit more now, step, great push. Look at where he's landing, look at where he's ending up. Let's step and hold this one. Boom, step, hold, good. One more on this left side, there we go, good. Let's go right side now. Where is he ending up, right? We're not ending up back on this line. Balls aren't coming at a, a really fast pace, but he's still pushing himself to get here, hands out, ending up more on a diagonal, not so much straight towards the ball, but on a diagonal, meaning that ball higher. All right, so let's do the same thing on the right side. Keep that technique, getting your hands out towards the ball, chest and shoulders look good. How do we continue that on the right side? Here we go. Good. Let's go two more. There we go, well done, well done. So from there, we wanna to start to pick up the pace now. I wanna pick up the pace a little bit. We're gonna stay outside the goal for now, but I wanna pick up the pace a little bit and I wanna work on stretching a little bit, okay? So we're gonna be here, you're gonna be set, and I'm gonna push you a little bit further now, right? So how do we push both hands across? If we have to parry, can we parry, right? But focusing on that step and that push, I'm gonna back up a little bit, I'm gonna put a little bit more pace in the ball, but thinking about, you're set. What does that step look like? What does that push look like? And what does the decision look like? Am I gonna hold or am I gonna push the ball out wide? All right, let's go down to your left side first. All right, here we go. Good, Think, still thinking about getting those shoulders, that chest forward. Great push. Let's go one more this side. Good, let's go right side now. All right, same thing. Let's pick up the pace of the ball and we're good. Being very nice to you right now. You're not being very nice with these rollbacks. 
Good. That one, we're hopping up a little bit over towards the ball. Make sure we're shooting down towards the ball, all right? Great hand. Let's go one more. And good. All right. So now that we're in goal, we want to start to see things from the angles, all right? So we're going to create a situation where we move from this position where ball's on the inline and it's been cut back. We're moving into the line of the ball. We're set, we're balanced, and then we're gonna put some balls down to the side, all right? So basically recreating a situation where the striker, the winger's gotten down to the inline. They cut the ball back, we move, that striker coming in, put a shot on target, that's going far post. How do I get set here? How do I get balanced? And the angle at which I push on. This is a crucial situation that happens a ton in games. Right? And a lot of times goalkeepers get caught here and then we get caught here going backwards and balls up end up, end up in the back of the net because we don't keep our way forward. We don't take that step out towards the ball. All right, here we go. Good. Mannequin's there for a reason, right? Mannequin is there, basically simulate a defender or an attacker being here. Are we gonna hold? And then where are we pushing this rebound? Okay, if we're not gonna hold. So thinking about that as we're set, now we've got to make decisions on holding the ball versus parrying the ball. Let's go again, on you. Good. Think about your sharp movement in. Get into that spot quick. Good push. And now I want to back up a little bit. Now I want to start to pick up the pace a little bit, right? So now it's about you making decisions. Am I going to hold it or am I going to parry it? Here we go. Good decision. Let's go two more. Great push. Good, good reaction. All right, so let's talk about the four that we had there, right? The, most, the, the ones I want to talk about the most are the last two, right? So thinking about you getting off, you were set here, got a great push there. Great aggressive push there, right? And that ball ended up a little bit off of the defender, and that's fine. You've gotten two hands to it, and you've gotten a great push on that ball. Is a defender likely going to be right there in on you that close? Probably not, right? But the push that you got is putting that ball out to the side, which we can recover for. So let's talk about the second one, or the last one. All right, so we got in here. You were here, you were here, you were here, and the pace, so you took a good step but you a little overshot it a little bit, right? And that ball came in tight and made it tougher for you to hold it because you're already extending to the corner, ball's coming inside, right? So that is the big thing. Goalkeepers have to be really confident in their set position and really confident in their reactions. I want you reacting a bit more towards the ball as opposed to reacting to where we think the ball's going. And that's the tough thing with this drill, right? I've told you where the ball's going, right? I've told you it's going down to your left side. And so now I'm set here, and as I'm going to strike the ball, you're going here, ball's not even struck yet, and you're pushing, right? You're pushing towards this mannequin, you're pushing towards the far post, when in actuality, I could hit the ball right in here. And if I'm diving here, and that ball comes inside, now I'm in an awkward situation, which is what you got caught on, where you pushed a little bit too far, had to come back in here, and now the ball ends up down the middle, right? So it's tough from this distance, because it's 12, 13 yards away, bit more of a reaction, but being a little bit more confident in this position. So when the ball, right when the ball struck, doesn't necessarily have to be a massive push, right? Right when the ball struck, it's that step push. And now maybe I'm not able to hold that ball, but I can still tip as opposed to diving past the ball and I'm giving up that rebound down the middle. That is a lot of how we want to work on the diving technique, starting from the basics, starting from the ground, starting from the side, pushing my shoulders, my chest, my hands forward. Right, then I can go to my knees and work on that step, simulating that step with my knee all the way up to my feet in a static position to where I'm simply stepping and going and then putting it into the goal, adding movement into it. Because as a goalkeeper, you're constantly moving in the goal. It's constantly repositioning yourself from here to here. So maybe I'm moving across here. And at some point, I got to get set. I got to get my weight forward. And that step has to go in line towards where the ball goes. So that's the basics of diving technique. We'll continue to work on the little aspects of it throughout training and in further videos so that we can hammer in the little basics that we need and the different situations and little nuances of every single portion of diving. But for now, that's the basics. This is Prime Focus Goalkeeping. Thank you guys for watching.
And that's another great episode of our Goalkeeper Technique Analysis Series. What do you think? Share some thoughts on diving technique in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest video releases that we put out on our channel. You can also follow us on all social media platforms at PrimeFocusGK. And check out our website, www.PrimeFocusGoalkeeping.com for great goalkeeper gloves, apparel, and amazing goalkeeper resources. Until next time, stay focused.